Men's Money in the Bank match. Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus versus Omos versus Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn versus Riddle versus Madcap Moss. Why is he still Madcap? Why isn't he just great, Riddick? Great question. He's no longer a jester. He's not telling jokes. He lost the suspenders. Well, he got gear. Why is he still Madcap? Because he did a feud with Corbin, and uh, he got over as a baby face. God forbid we change anyone's name on the show. Well, they figured he got over as Madcap. Not because he was Madcap. Now, quite frankly. He overcame being he Madcap. Got o- he got over in suspenders, too, but they took the fucking suspenders off. He got over despite so being Madcap. So maybe they should get rid of that stupid word. What's the epitomology or whatever of the word Madcap? I don't know. So Adam Pearce comes out oh, to shit, I'm looking it up. add theory to the match. Everyone groans. <laughs> Just spoil it. He wins. So the whole point is they... <laughs> They give the fans something they want for something chance. You deserve it. And the main event, they give the window guy who very clearly in storyline does not deserve it. He didn't have to qualify. He lost on this show. All the other guys are pissed off he's in there. They've been through hell trying to get into this match. And he just gets it for no reason other than Vince likes him. That is the story. That's what's going on. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, madcap. This word madcap. Things are done in a foolish, rash, or impulsive way without planning or thought. That's your life. It says here, Madcap, dating from the fucking 16th century, originally meant lunatic or crazy person, from the head sense of cap. In other words, a madcap was a crazy head. So now, keep going. All right. So, uh... They actually, <laughs> okay, he's not great, but they did more to make Omos look like a giant in this match than they ever had before. Fuck me, dude. He was horrible in this God, match. he was fucking atrocious. And every time he fucking did anything, this crowd died and it killed this match. And it was like, they would have a great match and then, and then Omos would get involved. Then it would be a shitty NXT 2.0 match. And then they'd get rid of the guy. Then it would be a great match again. Then he'd fucking come back. It's NXT 2.0 again. Then they'd kill him and it'd become a good match again. He fucking can't sell to save his life. He got knocked off the third rung from the fucking bottom. It was a second. Second? Yes. Okay, so he's a foot off the ground, maybe. He gets knocked off this ladder and he fucking starts selling his head. Mm-hmm. Hmm. He didn't even fucking fall down. It would be like if I stood on the bottom part of this chair, and I went, and then I go, oh, and I sell my fucking head. Who does that? You know who? Omos. Hmm. God damn. Well, they did try to take him out of the match for a while, but he beat up all seven dudes like a giant should do, and they all had to gang up on him. They tried to bury him under ladders. They tried to put him through a table. He kept coming back. And, uh... I won't lie. It was better when he was under the ladders and through the yeah. table. That, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Uh, I did enjoy Drew and Drew and Sheamus having their love hate relationship is fun because they love they hate each other and they love to fight, but at the same time they want to compete to see like who can hit Austin Theory harder. This nah, is a, I was all into that. This is a fun rivalry. <laughs> this is good stuff, and they're going one on one. And Sheamus, uh, no, Drew tries to pin uh, Sheamus at first. Sheamus pins. Drew under the ladder, but Drew bench presses him off, and then Drew tries to do the same thing to Sheamus, and Butch runs out and attacks Drew. That was fun. Riddle and Seth were fighting on two ladders next to each other, but I couldn't see what was going on. Then Riddle fell, but I didn't see him land. Riddle came back at the big RKO off the ladder, and it comes down to Theory and Riddle, and Theory just shoves Riddle off, and Theory wins. And yes, I am sure that the next event will be Austin Theory cashing in on Roman Reigns. Yeah, I'm not, that title, uh, huh? I'm not expecting that one happen. And he tries to, well, he takes a selfie, and they're trying so hard to get a shot of his phone that we get a shot of his ass instead. There you go. That's money in the bank. Wow. Didn't like that main event. It was fine. It was. I'm glad they didn't do a thousand crazy things to try to kill each other. There was no point here where I thought somebody died, but it was nothing I ever need to well, see Well, that, that uh, RKO off the top of the ladder onto Seth Rollins, that was pretty scary. Looked like they banged heads too. Oh, that's yeah, good. yeah. That match was great. But he's bringing the whole show down with his misery. I, th- I thought this was a very, very good match, but the finish absolutely sucked. 
Well, obviously. Finish sucked because because Theory won by throwing yeah. off Riddle. Right. That's why uh, Liv Morgan probably won the title, by the way, because they were going to screw imagine. over Riddle, who everybody loved, by having Theory go up for heat. Yeah. Get that briefcase. You know what we need with this company is more heat. I'll say. His theory is the Mr. Money in the Bank running around with that fucking briefcase. Yep, match was uh, pretty good, but Omos, uh, oh. he took it down several notches, coincidentally, despite his height. And, this was uh, the best was thing that. on the show, and uh, the show was all downhill from there. So uh, I guess I can continue on. To uh, Dana Brooke beat Becky Lynch. <laughs> And that, my friends, is Monday Night Raw. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.